Hello everybody, Mandolin here, and I'm telling you the anxiety is thick. That is the thing that I hear most out of people's mouth that they are experiencing. Whether it be anxiety from the things going on around or anxiety about their current path and, and how they are proceeding. It all depends on the perception in which you are taking it from. And that, that spills over into what is the experience that you are encountering. I want to bring some clarity to a few things. And I want you to take what resonates and what doesn't, just let it go. There are so many individuals in different experiences, stages, phases, energies. And this is just a general perception of the energy from an Oversoul Collective. So keeping that in mind, the anxiety as far as the events occurring around us within our societies, within our governments, there's a lot of disclosure happening. A lot of people are finding out that they have been deceived and manipulated. And of course, this creates a whole other level of, well, what else is being hidden from us? So that opens up just a great big ball of anxiety. There are those that are proceeding forward in a higher frequency journey. And, of course, before you get ready to, to start a game or, or whether it's a performance that you're doing, there's that, the anticipation, that little bit of anxiety jitters that comes with it. So that kind of anxiety is out there. And just remember that by nature... The human species is judgmental. That is how many cope when they are not proceeding forward to refine with themselves, is they judge another. And in that, they take not only your attention off of themselves, but they're able to take their focus off of themselves and put it somewhere else. Focus is something that you should think about in everything that you do right now. Somebody once said to me, why do so-called enlightened people sound like they talk different? Because they do talk different usually because they're very aware of the power of their words. And so for all of us, to fulfill what it is that we are here to fulfill and achieve, we first have to know what that is. You are going to encounter people that just kind of want to yank your chain. There's not any true intent behind it except to try and wrap you around in circles. And this is where your discernment and your intuition comes in so heavily. The telepathy is already starting in a lot of people. And in that, you come to realize very quickly that nobody is responsible for your energy but you. In a world of telepathy, there are no secrets. More importantly, there are no lies because it's not hidden. It's a telepathic world. In proceeding forward in your ascension and in your spiritual journey, it's a good time to start working on that. Lie, if you call it a lie, that means that you knowingly, usually, 
a lie means that you are purposely trying to manipulate the truth. Now, lies are a lower frequency energy. They are held together by lower frequency vibrations. So therefore, they are not as strong. The truth, however, is built on the very fibers of creation. Every truth will stand forever. And so when you build with the truth, you are creating an intricate structure. Therefore, the truth will stand forever. But when it comes to lies or deceptions, they're going to crumble. Know that when know that when the awareness of this crumbling reaches the collective, there's going to be mass awakenings. And then there's the the earth situation. We're experiencing increased activity from our solar system, from our sun, and that's affecting our planet. All of this is natural, but it all creates anxiety. How to control your anxiety. First, know if it's your anxiety or if you are feeling the anxiety of others, such as in an empathic state. If you're an empath, you always have to sort what's mine and what isn't. Know what to let go. Do not absorb energies. If you are doing energy work, picture it flowing through. You're just, you're nothing but a delivery system, a pipeline. Don't absorb any of that. Understand if it's like the pre-jitters, pre-performance anxiety. Uh, also, that's, that's something, if that is, that's a good anxiety. It keeps you aware of more of the intricate details around you. And you're able to fine-tune your experience. Not let the fear set the tone for the change that's coming. And there is change coming. There is change on so many scales coming from now, and I keep getting until the winter solstice. It's going to be a white knuckle ride of anxiety, and the way to survive the anxiety is to, to first recognize it. Uh, second, utilize it as it is appropriate. In other words, heightened awareness. I've had very heightened awareness lately. Also, understand that this may be triggering something in you and know when it's telling you to do some work, some healing. And most of all, don't let it override your soul's purpose, your soul's knowing. Every time you have a chance to practice compassion, do so in a way that's appropriate. Every time you can affect somebody's day by bringing a smile to their face or giving them some gratitude, do it. If you tore down every building and every government agency or medical agency or whatever it is that is causing you anxiety, that construct still exists. And the place that we go to change those constructs or to demolish them so we can build anew is on the energetic side through alchemy and through our higher presence. So keep in touch with your guides, with the angels, with your ascension teams, with your other aspects especially.